Hi guys! Happy November! So today's video is really special because we have a surprise guest! It's Amber! Hi, Amber's in New York! <laughs> Everybody say hello to the one and only See you real soon here! So happy to have you here, girl. Really? I'm so happy to be here! <laughs> So Amber is visiting New York for the weekend and she's staying with Rowan so we decided to do a few videos with her and take advantage of the moment. How are you enjoying New York so far? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. She's I can't. collecting leaves. <laughs> I am. Just so that we can know Amber a little bit more because I know you guys hear us talking about her all the time but this video we have a chance for Amber to speak for herself and we actually asked you guys on Instagram to ask us a couple of questions. We've discussed this before but it's okay. for them really to know how we met. So how did we oh. meet exactly? I honestly don't know how I found you. Like I don't know if you came up on my search page or what but I saw the picture of Rowan in her pink birthday <laughs> outfit with the pink tutu and the diamond ears and I was like oh my gosh this girl is so beautiful so I commented I don't know what I commented I think I was like happy birthday you look so beautiful oh my gosh should we go and see what <laughs> you commented? you said happy birthday heart heart <laughs> You. So that's where it all started. That's the beginning yes. of the friendship right there. That's crazy. Yes. I mean, I did a little snooping around, okay? I went on your channel page. I went on your Instagram. <laughs> and I saw what kind of ears you made. And I saw that she had just released Toy yeah, Story it was ears. Like, you texted me like five minutes after. I was like, oh my gosh, someone already liked it. <laughs> <laughs> so she posted it. I was like, these are perfect for Sophie's birthday party because it's going to be Toy Story themed. And I'm nuts and I like to wear ears at like every occasion. I mean, I can vouch for that. So I was like, these are perfect. So I messaged her and we just like had this connection like yes. right away. Yes. We just started talking about the ears. So I was like, do you want Buzz? Because there was like only ham and the aliens on the Oh yeah, I remember. And then I was, because I didn't want to be like rude. I was like, yeah, you could just post whatever character. And then I messaged her like maybe like 30 minutes after. And I'm like, you know what? Can I have Buzz, Rex, and Woody on the ears if that's not too much trouble? And of course you're like, of course. Like, do whatever you want. Literally, as soon as, like, I saw, like, I didn't know that they were a YouTube channel at first. You texted me, and you were like, we're a YouTube channel. So then I was like, okay, so I went and, like, binge watch everything. <laughs> and I didn't know Mina, I don't think, yet, was yeah. that one. Until you posted that one picture outside. Yeah. Where, yeah, oh, where she was, like, dressed yeah. in that jacket. Yes, and then I, from yeah. the day you posted that picture, I was like, I want them to be my brain rubs. But, oh, like, but then, like, after, like, the freaking thousandth pair she bought, <laughs> tell her now just like to do it anyway since she like already like oh my god I was so excited like you don't even know how excited I was. First Amber was like can I put you and Mina in a group chat because I want to tell you guys something and me and Mina I were like what is, what is going on? on? Like what eats us? <laughs> <laughs> and then she said I want you guys to be my brand reps. And we and were we like are you kidding? Yeah we were like <laughs> what? Shops want brand reps to have, to have like thousands and thousands of followers which is yeah, understandable because right. they want their like product out there and stuff so like when we heard that like she wanted us and we hadn't even like hit 500 subscribers on YouTube. So, yeah. so we were like, what? Like, why would she we thought want it? it? We were like, <laughs> yeah. we made it. We were we're like, we made it in this world. So that's the story of how we met you. Yes. And how we our friendship grew. Yeah, and we just like talked forever. Yeah. And like we text each yeah. other all the time. And not even like Disney related stuff. No. Yeah. Like, Amber yeah. has so many things in common with us, like just in general. Now let's get to the, the questions that people uh, asked us. And most of them are for Amber, but that's okay because we want are Amber they really? to be. Yeah, we yeah. want you to be speaking. People though. are curious, Amber. They want to know about you. <laughs> Missy Magical Ears asks, What are all of your top favorite ears? So let's start with the ear shops. Amber's. <laughs> I don't like buy a lot of ears like that's Rowan's territory but from the ears that I do have I have majority of Amber's ears. Most of them are the ones that she like gave me. <laughs> I also love We've Got Ears like I feel like they have good products as well but I think Amber's is like my number one. <laughs> those are my top two. Those are so cereal soon ears obviously Amber. <laughs> I also love glitter crafting ears. I love Mouse Couture that was my first uh, ever like Etsy ear custom ear shop that I bought from, so Mouse Couture ears. Definitely glitter crafting. I don't have that many ears, like I have two pair that Rowan got me and then I have two more. The Many Adventures of Megan, I have a pair of her ears and I love them. And then The Happiest Haunt, I have a pair of her wire ears and I love them. And then 
Visions of a Daydreamer? Yes, Visions of a Daydreamer. I love these. Is that the Lion, the Lion King ears? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is again from Missy, Magical Ears. She says, not Disney related, but favorite artists and songs. Mac DeMarco. Do you guys know him? No. no oh my gosh, he's amazing. Frank Ocean. Okay, oh, I know who Frank Ocean is. You're gonna yeah. have to send me like songs. <laughs> like, I don't know any of this. I mostly listen to like the radio. So, like, right. anything that's on the radio, <laughs> that's what I listen to. I really love um, Charlie Puth right now. <laughs> I still like don't know who that I is. I love. He was on the radio! You were He's singing to it! We don't, I we don't talk anymore. Yeah, we don't. He talk is? Yes! I did not know that. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's Charlie Puth. So. Oh, oh, is he the one you were like, oh, he's so sexy? Yeah! <laughs> Um, I really like Sam Smith, and I love Adele, like yeah. the classic I love singers. Adele, yeah. just like if I, yeah. And then there's this band that I was introduced to through Grey's Anatomy, because they have amazing freaking music they on that do. show. Um, they're called Sleeping At Last, and they have like kind of like an indie vibe, like they're not very popular, and I don't know, their music is just so beautiful. I love the Lemon Twigs. I don't know who that They're is. like indie, like... Yeah, but, do, yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to, yeah, have to give us a playlist. <laughs> what are Amber's favorite ears to make? Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't like making velvet ears that much. No way! The thing is, okay, so I'm like not a neat freak, but I hate little particles, and the sparkles on those ears mm. shoot particles of like shiny like little things everywhere oh and it drives God. me crazy. No way! They're the easiest to make because the fabric's so stretchy. But my favorite pair to make is the comic princess ears mm -hmm. or the Disney classic movie ears probably. Oh my god, I love those, the Disney classic ones. Ash Lee Lauren says, I'm going to Disney World for the first time in a couple months and want to know what are some must do's. Disneyland is my home park, so I'm looking for things to do that are specific to Disney World. Yeah. Definitely do all the mountains in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. So Splash Mountain, Space Mountain, and people Thunder and Thunder Mountain. Mountain. Yeah, and people Mover Mover is people so Mover. underrated. It's so you have to do people perfect. Mover. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Epcot, you have to do Soarin. Soarin. Yeah. You have to do Spaceship Earth. Yeah. Yes. I'm not a very big pavilion person. I'm not I, either. Like the around the world. Yeah. Like I don't. I love walking around and just eating. I don't mm. like the drinks or anything like that, yeah. or like doing stuff in them unless there's a ride, but I love the eating. I would also say, um, as far as like dinner and restaurants, a must for me, I don't know about you guys, but coral reefs. I like, still haven't gone. I, I want to. Like, Talk about it. Yeah, like that's this. like Mina's. If you Mina can like write you a dissertation like just on coral reef. I think I'm gonna write my thesis on coral reef. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely do Pandora and Animal Kingdom. Like just go yeah. explore it and go on both rides. I know not a lot of people like the Navi River ride, but still go on it once just to see it. Definitely watch Happily Ever After Fireworks Show in I Magic still Kingdom. Seen that. Oh my god, it is like a religious experience. <laughs> so good. And then also meet Kylo Ren. <laughs> If you're in Hollywood Studios, yeah. yeah. Toy Story Midway Mania, that's yeah. a big one. Freaking great movie ride, I forgot to say. Oh my great god. Great movie ride is my favorite <laughs> oh my ride. God. And it's gone. And then this is from, I don't know if Patty asked this or Emily, but it's from the Disney Pixies. Why did you start make, making mini ears? So I used to make them for myself. I made an Instagram and put them on Instagram. Like I didn't even know there was a Disney community. I sent them to people and then I made an Etsy and <laughs> and now look where she is. Yeah, that's so good. Okay, this is for me. When do you remember falling in love with Walt Disney World? This is actually a really good question because people usually think because they see how obsessed I am, they think like this started like a long time ago, like when I was younger. I did love Disney when I was younger and I do remember like my parents buying us like the VHSs like when they came out, but it didn't get this nuts until I went for my honeymoon. Like my husband took me for my honeymoon to Disney World. And that's like really where it started, like for Walt Disney World. What Disney park would you want to visit that you haven't been to already? Because I went to Disneyland before once, but I want to go back like really badly. And then you? Tokyo. I want to go to Tokyo go as to well. Tokyo. Miss Connie asked us, um, would you, the Disney damsels, ever think about making merchandise with Amber and designing special Disney damsel <laughs> ears? <laughs> we discussed this in our live yesterday, but um. Yeah, we've, dis yes. we've discussed this like previously, like me and Rowan, like we really wanted to get involved in like making products, but we were always unsure of what to do, how to how start. to go about it, yeah. and like if it would even become anything. Yeah. So like that's why we have been hesitant about that. Anything yeah. is possible. Yeah. Anything is possible. So. <laughs> 
Maybe. What are some must see or must go when celebrating your birthday at Disney World? Like which rides should you go on? What should you do and what should you see? I feel like the most important thing honestly is to just do whatever you want right. to do but I think you should put on a park button and just like feel <laughs> yeah. all the magic because like totally <laughs> true. So feel all the magic. Oh, yes. <laughs> Everybody wishes you yeah. a happy birthday. And Everybody. they give you stuff. Like, I I've had people, like, hand me cupcakes and, oh my God. and like, just put on a birthday party. I know. It really it makes the day. Lady Like Lily asks, Disney Halloween or Christmas decor? Christmas. I like <laughs> plain Disney. <laughs> I mean, I've never been in, like, during either time, but I'm always, like weary about going during those seasons because I love like just regular Disney like the way Disney looks regularly. Yeah see I was gonna go to Disneyland for my birthday but I was like I want to see it plain out. Right? See it with the yeah cameras. like yeah. I'm, I'm sure like I think it looks beautiful and I love seeing yeah. pictures of it but I feel like because I don't go to Disney like every day of my life or like every month yeah. I feel like when I go I want it to be like yeah. Disney and not overshadowed by like the decor if that makes sense. Like if I had to choose I think I would rather see the Christmas decorations only because like I feel like there's not a lot of decorations during Halloween. Is that just me? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, just a pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. Let me just say that I think my favorite park during Christmas is Hollywood Studios. They like out, like it's literally snowing. Like it snows, oh, really? I, yeah. And they like added more decorations this year. Like I saw, yeah. Christmas. yeah. I, I love Hollywood Studios. And then she's also asking, what is your favorite Disney park? Mine is Magic Kingdom. We know we're one. <laughs> I think Hollywood Studios. Oh wow. I think so. Hollywood yeah. Studios is my second. I mean, it, the only reason I'm not like Hollywood Studios is because of Great Movie Ride. It's Magic Kingdom, <laughs> but I was talking to Rowan about this. I love Magic Kingdom because I think it has the most things that I enjoy. Like it has the best rides in my opinion. It has like some of the best restaurants. But I told her that when I'm not at Disney, the park that I miss the most is Epcot. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm always like dreaming about Epcot and like being on Soarin' and like just <laughs> in Epcot. I don't know. What's your favorite Disney snack? The macaron. Like from the French Pavilion. That's it. That's my mm. favorite. The gray stuff. If oh wait, really? is that considered a snack? The gray stuff? Yeah, I mean, okay. Isn't the gray stuff just whipped cream? Have you had the new one? It's not the brown anymore, it's like the a circle with like no, it's like I don't know what it's called, but it's like a circle of chocolate, like bread type stuff, and then the inside is like this cream, like stuff, and then it has gray stuff on top. It's so good. The banana bread pudding. Oh my god! It's but that's not a snack. So that, doesn't, that doesn't count for one. Why? Because I love that too, and I would have chosen it, but I would have chosen it, but no, it's not. Okay, it's a churro. Yeah. But that would be my. That's like oh my god. That's my like favorite food Earth. in Disney. Yeah. Like just if you could go one place anywhere in the world, where would it be? I really want to travel um, the UK, like England, Ireland, and Scotland. Yeah. Same. Yeah, I agree. England. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> First we're going to California, and then we're going to go there. And I also wait. I also really want to go to Seattle. Like I know that's random, but oh, is it because of Grays? It's because of Grays, but also it's like a really beautiful city. Like yeah. I've seen pictures of it. This is from Queen Ostrich. That's a very interesting <laughs> <laughs> Instagram name. How are the parks around Christmas time? Is it super crowded and really hectic because of the holiday season? Halloween. What did I say? Holiday. Holiday season. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I've been to Disney during Christmas twice and it was chaotic, but I would definitely recommend going during Christmas than okay. in August because August is Disgusting. I'd rather take the disgusting. Really? Oh I'd rather sweat. I mean, I'm done the August, so I'd rather do that than like deal with a million people. I'd rather deal with a million people. I feel like if you go like November 29th ish, mm. like end of November, it's not that crowded. And then this is from Daphne from Thomas Ever After. Amber, when you started making ears, you probably were unsure how quickly it would take off. Are you blown away with how fast your business is growing and the attention your shop brand is receiving? I am. I am because I'm like amazed. Like, I mean, I think I opened my shop January 23rd. This, this year? year? Yeah. That's what? It? Yeah. And like, this is where you are now? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I am. I'm very... We're so very proud. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. Can you give us a little insider scoop on some fun designs we can expect to see in the near future? Ooh, ooh that's a, I like that's that. That's a good question. <laughs> so I just got 
really cool vintage black and white steamboat willy oh. and like all the like fab five cartoon like newspaper looking prints. Oh my god. Ooh. And I will make those like right away. I want to make the tangled collection, okay? I'm gonna okay. make a tangled collection as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to give too much away, okay? Like, I have to it's hard to you. Think. Yeah, I know, it, it is. Cause like you have to be coming up with like new designs like yeah. every couple weeks. I want to so. make goofy ears too. So I guess stay tuned for more of Amber's <laughs> stuff that's gonna be coming out. And those are all our questions that we got, but that's a really yeah, good yeah, bunch of questions. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you to everybody who asked us a question, really like it means a lot, especially like when you don't think anyone's gonna ask. <laughs> we're gonna write our own questions. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned because we're gonna be doing a few more videos with Amber, so watch out for those. And oh. as always, guys, <laughs> we have to practice. We have to practice. Yeah. Ready? And as always, guys, have a magical day. <laughs>